Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am talking about a pen that was my grail pen for a long time. And um, grail refers to the holy grail, so it was the holy grail of pens for me. And uh, generally people refer to pens as their grail pen when they're hard to get, or when they can't afford it, or um, when like there's only a few available. Uh, and that I kind of always the case for me. So a couple of years ago, I came across this Pelican M600 Ruby Red, and yes, I have it right here. I saw it on eBay. I think it went for like a normal price, like $450, $500. It's still a lot of money, but it was a normal price for that pen. Um, and then I, I didn't get it. I couldn't afford it. It was a couple of years ago. I didn't have like a steady job. I think I even was still a student and I just couldn't get it. But what I did was put an eBay alert on for the M600 Ruby Red. Basically, over the last few years, nothing came up. I almost never got an email from eBay saying, oh, there's a new Ruby Red available. Very frustrating, but anyway, went into the background of my mind. I was like, whatever, when it comes along, it comes along, and then I'm uh, part of uh, a couple of fountain pen discord servers and there's a person that uh, I've actually known online for quite a while now and I knew <laughs> this person had a ruby red. He sometimes would post pictures and I would be super jealous and I would be like, I want that ruby red if you ever sell it, please take me into consideration. That has been like ongoing for a little bit, um, still didn't have the funds, we had the wedding coming up and like it wasn't really serious. And then like two or three months ago, three months ago actually, um, a Ruby Red popped up on eBay and it was an auction. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna see like if I can actually get it. Went for like $900, crazy amount. I was like, yeah, I can't do that. I think I bid, but I bid up to like 500. Um, but that was like my max. I can like risk to pay more because it was moving and we were getting married. It's just not a thing that I could do. So it remained like elusive. Um, and um, then like two months later, popped up at eBay again. It was a, a buy it now and it, I think it was $1,300. I was like, I am never ever going to get this pen. However, because I've been like um, talking about getting one for a while in the uh, pen discords, um, um, this person who had one said to me, like, if you're ready to buy one, I'll sell it to you. Like, that's, that's good. Um, and then it happened. This is a rambly story, but I, I bought it at the price that this person bought it for, which was super reasonable. Like, I would say I got a super deal, but this person's like, I know it's going to a user and like, you're going to get a lot of joy out of it. And it is so beautiful. This pen is like, it was the ultimate grail for me. And it really does make me happy. So it's on its, I've had it, I think for two weeks, no, a week and a half. Um, it's on the second fill now. I used to have um, Star Ruby in it, Pelican Star Ruby, but I just filled it with Diamine Imperial Purple. Great writer, medium nib, love it. And I'm excited to show you guys. I also wanna ask this question. Do you guys have a grill pen? Is there a pen that you really want but is out of reach for some reason? Might be price, might be rarity. Let me know in the comments, but also let us go look at this lovely pen and do a writing sample. All right, let's switch a shot. Okay, the ruby is ready for its close up. And I just really wanna show you the beautiful material that it's made out of and how full of depth it is. And this is a limited edition M600, of course, otherwise it would be easy to get, but I think people also tend to hold on to these because they're so beautiful. It was a limited edition for 2012. Um, hardware is 24K gold, nib 14K gold, and I have a medium two-tone nib. Hopefully it focuses. And it's a lovely writer. Piston knob is black, solid, as is the grip. 
And then the body, so the barrel, is this lovely, lovely semi-translucent ruby red color flecked. It really reminds me of the Brown Renaissance or not so much the ocean, tw ocean Swirl, but definitely the Brown Renaissance. And then if you look at the cap, it has a way more see-through element to it because there is no ink in there or piston mechanism. It is just this lovely material. Gold hardware, Ooh, single chick on the cap. And then on the cap band, it says Pelican Souverain. If it will focus for you guys, Pelican Souverain, Germany. And it is such a lovely pen. And I'm surprised that they haven't made like a new version of this. I know there was an M320 in this material, but they should just make a 400 or 800 in this material, preferably an 800, I think, and not price it up crazily. Yeah, the grill pen. I love it so much, and I'm glad I got it at a reasonable price. It felt like a wedding gift because I got it just after the wedding. Um, honestly, James bought it for me. It's a super early Christmas present, and it's great. Let's just do a writing sample because we can look at this pen forever, but of course, writing with a pen is important. So, Pelican's nibs tend to be quite wet. Pelican M600. This is uh, a medium, but it is on the finer side. Um, when I think of Pelican mediums, I tend to think of uh, broader nibs. I have a 400 nib, a medium looks like a broad. But I really like this. Um, the ink is Diamine Imperial Purple which is a lovely ink. It has a lovely golden sheen. Uh, I did have a red ink in this before, but I don't really think I need to match it. Um, this is the ruby red. Not to be confused with the star ruby. The star ruby is also a fun pen, but it's a M200. And it is red with flex. Flex as in specks of sparkle. And this is just so fun to write with. I love the size of this. It's perfectly well balanced. You could post it, but I'm not doing that. And um, it would make it a little unbalanced for me, a little too long, and also I don't wanna um, mess with the material, so I'm keeping it as is. It's possible though, so if you need a longer pen, post it. Honestly, I think this is a perfect size for a lot of people. Not a heavy pen but very comfortable for long writing. Good journaling pen. And honestly, it's gonna be in my currently inked for a long, long time. Thank you to the person who sold it to me. Um, I don't know if he's watching, um, but if he is, thank you so much. I'm super happy with it. I finally have it. Um, also, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about this pen or other pens, please let me know. Um, I will answer them. Got a new computer, so I should actually be able to answer stuff. Um, thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. Um,